And here we go. We have some breaking news coming out of Miami as they add a great gunner, but as well a nice nickel corner, according to Marcel Lewis Jaquez. Former Bills defensive back Saran Neal has agreed to terms on a contract with the Miami Dolphins. Now in this video, we're going to break down everything you need to know about Saran Neal and what he adds to this Dolphins team. Before we get into this video, do me a favor, guys, and subscribe if you're new. It's free, doesn't cost anything, but as well, make sure you guys comment down below a letter grade here for the Dolphins so far this offseason. They've added Aaron Brewer, Jonu Smith, Isaiah Mack, Davion Nixon, Anthony Walker, Jordan Brooks, Shaquille Barrett, Jordan Poyer, and now Saran Neal. So they made a bunch of moves here. Give me a letter grade for what they've done so far. But with that being said, let's talk about the new gunner. <laughs> who, did, uh, you know, deserves three guys on him at times. But also, let's see what he has to the team. All right, guys, don't mind these highlights. A little bit weird, but Saran Neal is a very interesting prospect. Now, when I look at the Miami Dolphins depth chart after getting rid of Xavier Howard, letting Brandon Jones walk, right, they obviously brought in Jordan Poyer, but you need more depth at the cornerback position. Right now, all they have is Cam Smith, Jalen Ramsey, Cater Kahoo, and then you got guys like Ethan Bonner and Nick Needham, right? There is no more depth behind that. So you need depth. This is a guy who's been in the division for a long time. He understands what it takes to not only play against Bill's wide receivers because he's been here for six or seven years, right? But also the Patriots receivers. He knows how to play the Jets. He knows this division like the back of his hand. He's been here his entire career. A former fifth round pick out of Buffalo back in 2018, right? Now, the thing I love about this move is one, it adds a lot of depth, but also the experience Ron Neal has as a 29-year-old DB in the NFL is something you want to have on your team. Now, over a six-year career, the man has, let's break it down here, he has 115 uh, tackles, 85 of those solo, one sack, four forced fumbles, and it's overall just been a reliable bench um, depth type of cornerback, right? Now, he, he spends a lot of his time in the slot, the nickel role, but right now that is Cater Kahu. I'm not sure if they're willing to move him or if they're willing to move things around and maybe just have him be like a, a spot start at game, or during some games. If there's an injury, have him come off and, and play as well. But, but also, another thing about him, he's a very good gunner, right? He is one of the one of the best gunners in football. He demands three guys on him at times. I saw uh, or I showed you guys that picture. But I don't think this is going to move the needle too much for the Dolphins. Um, maybe on special teams it might. But Saran Neal is a guy who's just going to help out, man. Last year, the Dolphins defense ranked number 16 in interception percentage, number 15 in pass yards allowed per game, number 15 in uh, yards allowed per pass, and 22 in completion percentage allowed, as well as number uh, 19 in rushing touchdowns allowed per game as well. This team clearly just needed a little bit of help, and they get it here with Saran Neal especially in terms of special teams and, you know, that nickel roll, right? You need someone to come in here and give you some depth. I think Saran Neal does a pretty good job at it. So let me know what you guys think. Again, not a big move, not a needle-moving uh, move, but at the end of the day, depth is needed in the NFL, and this was a major spot where they needed to make an upgrade. And here it is. Guys, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, join the family, and I'll see you guys in the next Miami Dolphins update. Hopefully it's soon. Peace.